Hey guys, another How I Do It here video. Um, I was just kind of poking around and trying different, uh, you know, cell phone based uh, train throttles and uh, I know I did the last video there about connecting uh, to the uh, um, ESU cab controller command station there and but I wanted to show you um, how to use your cell phone as uh, an additional throttle don't have to play with JMRI or anything like that. Um, basically, um, you just do everything on your phone. And uh, so I got my phone over here, and as you can see, if I click on my Wi-Fi settings here, if I can get it, come on, there we go. Um, let me go ahead and pick that up a little bit. But uh, hope that comes in. Yeah, you can see I just selected, I've got my other uh, different Wi-Fi's here uh, that uh, my phone is picking up. But I selected the ESU uh, Wi-Fi connection right there. And again, I know this is pretty, pretty washed out here because I got the camera kind of turned up, but um, same thing again, password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then as I stated in the prior video there, I got that off of um, a couple of forums where people were talking about that because um, it's not documented in the uh, the actual manual here for the uh, ESU cab control DCC system. But um, zoom in over here, you select that and I connect with that password. Um, but some of the forums said that the password only went up to eight, but mine went up to nine. So uh, you know one two three four five six seven eight or one two three four five six seven eight nine. You can try those too. So once you're actually connected up to it, uh, sorry for the jiggle in here, we get, uh, you know, get rid of that. And I'll try to kind of set this down so you could see it. Um, the Wi-Fi controller that I have been uh, sort of playing with is uh, if you go to like your Google's, Google Play Store um, or Apple, I guess this is an Android phone, and uh, do a search for ECOS controller right there and that's the guy that I'm running right over there um, I'm not quite sure if it's a official um, ESU controller or not or if it's just uh, somebody wrote it but uh, anyway that's the one I'm using and we'll kind of zoom out here a little bit easy enough to connect to it because once your uh, once your phone is connected to the uh, the uh, command station, the ESU command station, all you gotta do is hit connect and, well actually before you hit connect, sorry, you hit the uh, hit the three little uh, little menu right there not the three buttons, the little uh, sort of preferences right there and you enter that same IP address and that's the one that uh, is the default IP for the command station uh, and that's the default port right there and they pretty much just leave the rest alone. I, I didn't select it at all. And once you hit connect, all of a sudden, whammo, it's picking up all of my locomotives from um, the command station because that's where they're actually stored. Now, I didn't see an, uh, a, uh, a thing on here to actually control the layout, meaning turn the power on. So I did that with uh, the regular controller, but as you can see, I've got all my locomotives here, and uh, if I can find, I find our little uh, SD40 right there, and we'll give it a little, give it a little test run here. It's got functions for the bell, horn, and I believe since we're not started up here, um, I think there we go. We'll just get it get it fired up. That uh, little slider right there is the, uh, the the power control, and then uh, I guess you can drop down and do all of your other functions right there. So it's a simple controller. Ooh, it's loud, isn't it? Let's give it uh, let's give it a little gas here. See how she does. Hmm. Hey, it's working. So there you go. Uh, I mean, it's easier done uh, with uh, two hands here, where I'm not holding the uh, camera, trying to make sure I got the uh, got everything in view right here. But there you go. There's an easy uh, ECOS controller that you can use. You don't have to play with JMRI or anything. This connects 
directly to the ESU cab controller and you have an additional throttle right there. Um, I do have another one that I think it's the, uh, let's see, now I haven't tried it yet. So let me just go ahead and uh, get rid of that one. Clear everything out here. And um, I do have engine driver, which I know has worked before, but uh, I'm not gonna go through it right now. I just wanted to do a quick video here, but I think the setup for it is uh, pretty much the same. You kind of go through here and it's getting all washed out. All sorts of good stuff happening. Change system settings. Like I said, I'm not going to play with it right now. But that's another option for you to, to check out. I think the main thing is that, that you need to silence that. You just need to connect your uh, cell phone's Wi-Fi to the uh, ESU Wi-Fi with that password. And you should be up and running with uh, any one of those uh, um, you know, throttle programs. All right, that's all I had, guys. Just another follow-up. Take care.